Hey everyone, okay, so this is going to be, sorry, um, this is going to be my coming out video. I mean, my last video, my friend told me that I was kind of too, um, serious, so I was talking about really low, that I was being really shy, and that I shouldn't. I didn't think I was being shy, but apparently she's seen a different side of me, and she thinks that I should display my personality more. So, it's kind of a bad video to try and do that, um... The only difference you'll probably see is me swearing a lot more, um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, so I guess I'll just begin my coming out story. Um, so, I have a really bad posture, and I'm trying to get it better, but whatever. Um, so, my coming out story began by on my 14th birthday, and I had a note, I wrote the note, I had been depressed, um, and I was just like, okay, slip it into my mom's purse, and be done with it, like, great, it'll be over, and I was really stupid for thinking that, because she found the note before she left for work, so she read it right there in front of me, she's asking me all these questions, and I was like, bitch, Bitch, please leave me alone, give me some time, and then, no problem, I'll answer all of your questions, and there will be no problem at all. But no, she decided to, like, stick to me like a fucking flea on a fucking dog. And, yeah, so... She asked me all these questions, and I was like, okay, I got through the conversation. I don't remember what was said, but I know that it didn't really help at all. So then, I started high school. I was a freshman in high school, and I had this friend, and I told this friend, and turns out she, she was not a good person to tell, because I knew she was untrustworthy, and I don't know why I told her, but she was part of the gay straight alliance and all that stuff and I was like oh she's a good person to tell because she'll I know she'll accept me and she did I was right but she told a lot of people too and then I denied everyone that asked me because you know I didn't really want it to be school wide knowledge which in hindsight is just really dumb really dumb I should have just dealt with whatever happened because it was my decision in the first place but instead I went back and started being a closet dweller again until senior year when I was like, okay, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, Ryan, bitch, you are not going to be that guy that comes out in senior year of high school. You're not going to be the huge walking cliche. But it turns out that I kind of was, um, because my friend decided that she wanted to tell me that she had a crush on me, and I was like, ugh, fuck. Um... So all my plans were ruined. I decided that I had to tell her that night that I was gay. So I did. And that was fun. Her and the rest of my... I told her and the rest of my female friends, which weren't very many. I was mostly friends with straight males, which is really odd for a gay guy because he... Because, you know, normally you surround yourself with females because that's who you relate to better, but... All my friends were always male. Oh, well, basically, I told all my friends, and then... Not all my friends. I told all my female friends, and then... High school was over, and it ended, and... Well, actually, I skipped a huge part. One of my friends, who is no longer my friend, is a huge flaming bitch. And I hate her. Well, I shouldn't say I hate her, but I kind of do. So, whatever. Um, so, yes. Get out of my life. She told her boyfriend, who then in part told just about everyone he knew. And it was at a point where I was like, I don't know who knows. And it's a really shitty, shitty situation to be in, not knowing who knows, like, that you're gay. But, um, so then I went off to college. I lost touch with all these people. I don't know why I let myself lose touch with all these people, but I did, and... Um, so college started, I met all these new, I was like, oh, cool, you know, stereotypes. I'm an art major, 
there's going to be other gay dudes that I can talk with in my major. But I was wrong, of course, because there's no straight or gay males in the art major of 2009 class, which sucks. So I'm friends with all girls, which is fine. I mean, they're all great. Um, I love them dearly. But, um, they all had boyfriends when I met them, and they still do, and, which was fun. I mean, it was fine, no big deal, but then I found out that the boyfriends are kind of defensive about me hanging out with them, because they didn't know I was gay, because I hadn't told them yet, which was stupid, again, in hindsight, hindsight always being 2020. um, so... Then I decided that I had to tell them just to protect myself from all this hatred from their boyfriends. And, you know, it really didn't help, but eventually they got over it. Um, well, most of them did. Chelsea, if you're watching, you know who I'm talking about. But anyway, um, so that was good. They all accepted me, and then I was openly gay around campus, except for my brother, because he goes to the same college as me. And... It was, it was really, really surprising to me that when I'd talk about, like, all this stuff with my friends in class and people would overhear that they wouldn't be driven away. It was really cool, and it's just increased my confidence even more about how, I, how I've accepted my lifestyle and how everyone else has accepted the lifestyle of homosexuals. But, you know, I live in Massachusetts, so it's definitely, it definitely would have been different if I still lived in Ohio think it probably would have definitely um or Pennsylvania where I used to live as well um so yes I told them I was openly gay and so then I had one more person to, or wait no that's not where I wanted to go with this. I'm sorry, I'm very scatterbrained, and I have huge brain farts, and it's a big issue, and I'm trying to work on it. Um, so then I was like, okay, I have to tell my mom again, because I'm not sure if she understood the first time I told her that I was being serious, and it wasn't just a phase. So I told her again, I sat her down, I did not write her a note this time. I told her that I was gay. Oh my god, I'm yawning. I told her that I was gay, and then that, um, take me or leave me, whatever, and she just told me that, that she had always accepted it, and, you know, she spent the last couple years just deciding that she's gonna love me no matter who I am, and I'm, I'm like, great, that's super. And then there was one last person that I had to tell, and that's my brother, and he had just entered a relationship, and so I was like, whatever. I'm just going to tell him, I don't give a shit what he thinks, I'm not looking for his acceptance, because if he doesn't accept me, then I don't really have any reason to be nice to him and his new girlfriend. Sorry. because I'm cold-hearted bitch. Hugely cold-hearted bitch. Um, so I told him the next morning, and he was fine, he texted me, he was like, Oh yeah, it's gonna take some adjusting, but it's good. I'm fine. I hope you find somebody that's as, as important to me as, or that's important as important to you as my girlfriend is to me. And I was like, whatever. But um, so that was good. So now I'm openly gay. I'm very happy with where my life's at, and I'm here making videos. And <laughs> it's always the small details that get you because. The most exciting thing for me about being openly gay is the fact that I could change my Facebook info page to say I was interested in men, because, I don't know, that was just a huge step for me, and it just makes you feel better, and making this video is going to make me feel even better, and I hope you enjoyed it, I hope I didn't ramble too much, and I hope I showed a little bit more of my personality, I'm, I keep side looking like this, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it's really weird to stare at a camera. Oh yeah, and I'm using my camera this time instead of my webcam. In hopes that it will be higher quality. And... Yeah. So, I hope you all have a fantastic day, a fantastic week. Um, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.